Doc. The clock has started. Roger. Do I, 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 yep, you ever had pork floss? Welcome to the Good Stuff Morning Show. Here are your hosts, Kyle and Kenny. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning to you too, Kyle. Um, well, <laughs> is it? I, at this point, I don't know. Oh, I'm, no. I'm like, you know, you ever, you ever tried to do a vacation? You have, know? have I ever tried to do a vacation or have yeah. I ever taken vacation? Well, at this point, it's kind of both. Okay. For me, I've tried. I've taken it. I'm, I've done it. I've succeeded. It's it's one of those things where there's an idea of what the vacation would be like mm-hmm. in your brain mm-hmm. before the vacation starts. Right. And you look forward then, to it. Uh, I think, yeah, for the most part, you do. Um, and then it starts. And then it's nothing like what you had imagined and you do none of the things that you thought you would do. Right, but is that isn't that a good thing kind of? Or is that is it like bad? Is, are you are you now regretting taking vacation? Definitely not. Yeah, okay. So so that's a positive. True. I I got I got to cheer I got to cheer you up. You're you're coming into this Oh, right. You're all sad. I'm sorry I took vacation. Well, just be happy that you're not at work. <laughs> the fair. Yes, agreed. <laughs> The main thing I've realized, though, is that I hold myself to an unrealistic expectation that all of the things that I must do must be enjoyable oh, on okay. this vacation. Right. And right. So because everything would, it, would everything in your head would tell you also is on vacation. Yes. <laughs> the, the 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 food side of me must also be on vacation. The sleep side of me. Also vacation. So what you've done is you've built yourself up or at least built up your expectations to be completely let down at every single moment of your vacation at this point. Well, we can't all the thing is we can't all all versions of me cannot take vacation at the same time. That's the problem. Right. Podcast me in. I where's where's podcast vacation? You know, well, we kind of took a podcast vacation last Thursday uh, or Friday. That was well, see, that was like that was Work double time. Exact podcast vacation. Right, right, right. I hate this. <laughs> it, this is th- this is too many versions of me. Okay, doing not being able. They all put in for PTO all at the same time, all and I had time. to deny requests. That's what that's what's happened okay, here. Well, then let's let's take a step back. And what you're what, here? Here's my advice. Here's my here's here's my my podcast advice and my vacation advice and my work life advice is. Don't you, have any expectation. Mm-hmm. You need to you need to clear all expectation because the moment you have no expectation and then you just sit on your butt for a whole day, you're like, I got to sit on my butt all day and not have to talk to anybody. And it was but glorious. See, that's, that's the thing. Oh, you the want butt to talk needs to a vacation too? Oh, the butt needs a vacation. Okay. Yeah. Then, um, uh, I was going to say submerge yourself in a pool of water, but that's like sous vide yourself. And we don't really want that. Um, you know what? Not a bad idea, nah. though. Just to, just enough to kind of like start the decomp process and turn me into a big balloon of jello. A balloon of jello, huh? Y- yep. Just gross. Waiting to, gross. Waiting to pop. Just, and then just as soon as just, I poke it with a stick. <laughs> The skin Yuck. just ripples off of that jello and turns into a turkey. Speaking of skin jello, uh, <laughs> that's not the segue you wanted, I know. Um, we're going to really quickly look at the the third annual Turkey Day expose from Instacart.com. This was actually featured on Takeout and they they kind of. They 
we're doing a little pick and choose on what are what are Americans' least favorite side dishes for Thanksgiving, and then I suppose it's like a avoid these at all costs. Jello's got to be one of them, right? You like, think so, right? Probably. So I, I went to the 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 source here from the Instacart website, and I'm they have actually a bunch of statistics uh, from a survey they did. Among 2,000 U.S. adults conducted about the their 2020 Thanksgiving and how I guess how that is going to compare to their 2021 Thanksgiving. So really quickly, because I, I would say a majority of our listeners are American and they would find some interest in maybe some some Thanksgiving ideas and they can prep those now what three weeks ahead of time. Uh, So here, number one, America's turkey cravings, the percent of Thanksgiving dinner hosts who are planning to serve select turkey sizes for Thanksgiving. So there are so they're saying 34 percent are planning to serve a large turkey. What does large mean? Large is 120 pounds, 16 (laughs) human. Uh, No, 16 pounds or more. Um, and then 34 percent, the exact same percentage are going to serve an average size, which is 13 to 15 pounds. 18 percent say a small turkey. Three percent say tiny turkey. I don't know what what's tiny turkey. Oh, six pounds or less. OK. That's a chicken. That's a chicken. <laughs> Can we just agree? That's a chicken. What's what's great about this? This statistic or about this survey is that four percent say they're not serving a whole turkey, but they're going to do like turkey breast or legs or wings. So okay. like like pieced out and then only right. 4% say they're not serving any turkey. That's kind of oh. remarkable to me. I would, I would think out of 2000 American adults, only 4% are, are not serving Turkey. That's it. I, I, I'm, I would have expected it to be like half, not half, like a quarter. Like people would have alternative things. I didn't, I didn't think people were that big on Turkey. Eh, it's Turkey day, whatever. Uh, team white meat or dark meat? Kyle, what are you? Well, I mean, what would you prefer? I eat, a, I eat a turkey all by myself, so really, technically, I get all the meats. Perfect. I think there's, I think there's a statistic in here for that. Uh, forty-four say white meat, twenty percent say dark meat, a quarter say they prefer an equal mix of both, and eleven don't have a preference. So I think, I think you you fall into eleven percent. You know, it's like just put the turkey in me, right? It's fine. It's good enough. So here is the here is the uh, the main point of this survey. These sides are the worst. According to our Instacart slash Harris poll surveys, these are among the worst Thanksgiving dishes, according to Americans, along with a percentage of people who believe it to be true. So it's a list. That's right, Kyle. What do you think tops the list as the worst side dish as according to this survey? Candy corn. Candy. We did the we did the we did the <laughs> actually the four percent who say they're not serving turkey are just serving bags of the Thanksgiving candy corn. <laughs> is this wait, hold on. Is this the best of the worst or is this the worst this is, of the worst? This, this is the worst, worst, like worst the most one. worst. So not like the least worst. It's the most stuffing worst. stuffing, Kyle. Really? Stuffing. OK, it's stuffing. No, people like bread. People like bread. Uh, potatoes potatoes <laughs> what like mashed potatoes he, no people <laughs> like mashed potatoes green beans green, beans? green okay. beans is that your selection that's do people eat just the cranberry by itself is that a side yes just by itself that's on the list by itself i wouldn't say that people just like slop it down on their plate and go that's a dish no, I think that it's it's to be in combination with something else. Ugh. Usually turkey. I got to know. OK, number one with 27 percent candied yams. Oh, right. Uh, huh. OK, OK. I, I, I suppose I can see why people I'm going like to click on the candied yams so okay. I know exactly what they're talking about. Perfect. Uh, Royal Prince candied sweet potatoes sauced. Yam cuts. I could see this being unappetizing. Yes. Um, a 15.5 ounce 
can of vegetables. Right. Yeah, I can see not, why this would be the worst. Yeah, not interesting to to me. But close, no. close in second place, the green bean casserole, which oh, is like just, green ugh. beans and leftovers with some crispy onions on top, right? Not even. Nope. When you click through onto this. Oh, that's really messy. And that's a creamy. That's a, gr- that's a green bean mess. Oh, gross. Uh, number number three is cranberry sauce with 24 percent saying it's the worst. I don't get that. I think people are imagining um, the canned cranberry sauce where like it's tradition to leave it in the, the shape of a can. But is it or is it just a joke that you pull every year? Because if you make good cranberry sauce, it could be the best thing on the table because it could tie everything else together. Or it's just candy corn. Or it's just candy corn. Uh, number four, sweet potato casserole with 21%. This one really hurts my feelings because the sweet yeah. potato casserole yep. was my favorite growing up. Yep. In fact, uh, Binging with Babish just released his uh, recipe or his YouTube recipe of it. Um, and I, I suggest everybody go out and find that one. The Binging with Babish Sweet potato casserole. He bases make me make me put this in the show notes. So can you <laughs> yes. the thing that's in here. He he bases it on uh, the episode of Friends with Brad Pitt, who who wants to eat that, and uh, and then he makes a version with scotch. I think. I think with scotch. No. We'll know. just stop the podcast and we'll go watch it. Okay. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Kyle. Number- Number five is stuffing, which you, you started with, with 12%. 12% also say salad. I, I don't I don't know why salad would be on here. Is salad like a main dish, a main side dish of Thanksgiving? Or is it just Hold like... Hold on, you just said a main side dish. Uh, sorry, what I meant was like a standout side dish. It, it, that's just like filler for every meal. Salad shouldn't be on here. I don't think. And then mashed potatoes says 8%. And dinner rolls at 7%. Dinner rolls should be 0%. Those aren't, it's, it has no, no, no negative. Some people just don't like the rolls, you know, so too dry, too many. Too, too, too many dinner. is not a problem. <laughs> Who said too many is no. Uh, the thing about cranberry sauce Thirty-seven percent prefer homemade cranberry sauce. Like I said, it could it can make and break your 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 meal. Thirty-five percent prefer canned cranberry sauce. What? Yep, yep. Uh, they, yeah, just, yeah. they like it. They like 21% it. Twenty-one percent say they do not eat cranberry sauce on Thanksgiving, and three percent say they've never tried it. That hurts my feelings. They should eat the candy corn, right? No. Oh, and this one. Further to this, among those who prefer. Canned cranberry sauce, so that 35% for Thanksgiving, nearly 7 in 10 said they prefer to eat it in the shape of the can. Like I said, they're, it's like they're treating it as a joke. Last, no, last November, Instacart delivered enough canned cranberry sauce to create a stack 364,000 feet tall. That's as high as 1,200 Statues of Liberty. Liberty. Did I say Liberty? Liberty. Liberty. Live. <laughs> this beer is getting to me. Good morning. <laughs> What's your stop? What's your favorite? What's my I told you what my favorite is. The sweet, sweet, I know, sweet still, potato casserole. It's still it's still that one. Well, That's your still your favorite. That would be it's like it's like my go to. Be it's my go to be because I get my savory with the turkey and I put the cranberry sauce on that. Um what we've been doing recently, we we have like Brussels sprouts and uh-huh. broccoli. And I don't think we do green bean casserole. I don't think we've ever done it. In fact, um, stuffing, we always do stuffing. So a lot of savory stuff and the sweet potato casserole kind of like mixes in really well with, with the rest of that. So I would, I would be, prefer be honest though. Be honest. If it was just a tray of, of molten marshmallows. Oh, <laughs> that's, ju- that's just crispy on top, burnt on top. You would totally scoop that onto. I would scoop that onto the entire plate. I would cover my plate so yeah. that then the rest of my food <clears throat> now has marshmallow there we topping. Go. There's there it is. That's the that's the one. That's the that's the TikTok hack we need to do. <laughs> you just put marshmallows <laughs> on everything 
and torch them. I think I think you could actually turn that into your Thanksgiving um, leftovers recipe. Like some people like to make sandwiches. Some people like to kind of put everything in into one plate and they they cook it that way. I think like a, a, a hybrid of that is to have the marshmallow topping on the leftover plate. And then that's like you turn it into a casserole. I think you're onto something. I'm onto something. We're onto something. There's not a lot of else on here. People like butter in no. Minnesota. That's that's kind of the yep. <laughs> the main point we, here. We we knew that. Oh wait. Oh the pie. Wait pie. We need to we need to really quickly touch on this. The pie's the limit is what is what this table says. <laughs> America's favorite pies by sales via Instacart and their growth leading up to Thanksgiving. So number one is. Pumpkin. pumpkin pumpkin is right pumpkin and its growth leading up to thanksgiving goes up 300 percent. number two apple pie that thing that thing shoots up 250 percent. but the winner kind of is number three pecan pie goes up 450 percent right before thanksgiving so in the seven days before thanksgiving people are like i gotta get the pecan Triple pie <laughs> anyway that that's just a little uh taste of thanksgiving i i wanted to cover it now because this vacation that kyle is so bummed about yeah is gonna is gonna remove him from the podcast for a few episodes so we weren't gonna talk about it until like right before thanksgiving and i didn't want to do that I wanted, yeah. I wanted to I wanted to kind of like yeah. germinate yeah. the ideas and, and get right. us get us kind of rolling into Thanksgiving holiday season because hmm. Christmas is right around the corner, Kyle. But as Could always, I have the Taco Bell instead, please. Yes. These are today's headlines, 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 headlines. Kyle, headlines. do you still use your 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 google nest hub or your google home hub for for sleep tracking uh i mean it does it does it it does it without me really thinking about it you know Uh uh-huh so the answer is yes cool but also no awesome well kyle google's second gen nest hub already comes with the ability to help you track your sleep pattern Thanks to its solely powered sleep sensing feature. But now Google is rolling out an update that should help you get a more detailed look at the quality of your slumber. According to an announcement post on the company's keyword blog, the Nest Hub will now display a sleep staging chart that shows your various stages of sleep. I don't like how invasive it's becoming, including how long you were awake or experiencing REM sleep, light or deep sleep. Uh, okay. Awake, How? REM, light, deep, movement, likely. Um, time in bed. Now, we've talked about this in the past. It has thought that my cat sleeping on the bed is me taking a nap. Mm-hmm. So. So it's all over the place. Per- yeah, it is kind of, yeah, it is kind of all over the place, place but um, I wonder if this will have improved it. Maybe uh, as for the sleep sensing, maybe as as for the sleep sensing feature, Google says you'll be able to access a free preview through 2022. Google then plans on rolling out sleep sensing functionality in Fitbit premium in 2023, which currently costs me 99 a month or $80 a year. You'll be able to access the new sleep tracking feature starting today. But Google says it will reach global users, uh, quote, over the next few weeks. I don't know about this. It's a way. So whoa, 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 whoa. So they're like trying. They're trying like, we're gonna hook for you. everybody. We're gonna hook you right now with this, and then we're gonna take it away and put it behind a paywall for ten dollars a month. A month. I think not Google. Ye- yeah. So what's funny about this is it's not the reason that I bought a new bed, <laughs> but I bought a sleep number bed, and by the way, it gives me the best sleep I've had in my life. And it Does has the same numbers all night. It's just, just five, 28. It actually counts down from, 72. I tell it when I want to wake up and then it just starts counting down six. And so when it gets to three, two, one, I wake up. <laughs> that would be that would that would be terror. 
crazy. I would hate that. <laughs> you get in bed, it's like 16, 15. Oh my gosh, I only have 15 seconds to sleep. It's, is so, it, it's so stressful. Is it predict? Is it predicting when you'll wake up? No, no, no. Because you're already no, awake. No, it's, it's, I, I was just making a joke. The sleep number bed, it does this sleep tracking in an, in an app already. It does exactly what the Google thing says it's going to do. Uh-huh. But the sleep number bed does it based on sensors it has in the freaking bed, right? So it can actually tell when you're sure. moving around, when you're getting up, um, for how long. And then it also has heart rate uh, measurements, breathing measurements. It's It's got a bunch of good sensors. And so I've been <laughs> battling my wife on who can have the best sleep score every night. And it's a toss up. Sometimes she wins. Sometimes I win. Um, but it does the same thing that you were mentioning, where if I lay down in the bed and like I turn on the TV and I watch something with my daughter for 20 minutes or whatever, and then we get out of bed and we, you know, travel somewhere else in the house, it thinks that I took a 20 minute nap where I was just moving the whole time. So that's not good. Then it's Again, like your sleep score is this not is not eight. this information. This information it can tell me not worth ten dollars a month. But ten. But it's not even proven. This is it's based on a sensor. What is it telling? What is it external telling? External sensor. You cannot you cannot take this to the doctor. You cannot diagnose anything. Ooh. This is only information for you to look at with your own eyeballs, and that's it. Well, and our eyeballs. We're Google, and we're looking at all your sleeps anyway. So it, here we are. It could help you if you're if it tells you that you're you're not hitting REM sleep until like five in the morning after going to sleep for seven other hours. It? But is it? But is it? It doesn't know, right? It doesn't know because it's it's an app that sits on the outside of your bed. Nobody knows except you, right? But well, that's very that's very existential. I don't like that. <laughs> Just wake up when you hit your REM sleep and then tell me <laughs> and then I can write it down. No, um, I it's it's the sleep number thing is helpful. Number one, to compete with my wife who can get better sleep. But number two, it it tells me, hey, you toss and turn a bunch and maybe you need to go to sleep earlier and not toss and turn so much. And if my experience is worth anything here. I would have to guess that it would basically just say you are very loud and you <laughs> snore a lot. And maybe <laughs> you maybe activated you should, Google a hundred times. <laughs> maybe, maybe you should not. <laughs> yeah, I guess the other thing is that if I had a Google hub right next to my bed, I would just watch TV. <laughs> I would just watch YouTube TV on it uh-huh. and it wouldn't be able to track anything because the TV would be on all night. Still tracking. Still tracking, I suppose. It was just tracking the TV channel now. Uh, Kyle, I'm going to move on here. Twitter Blue. Hey, do you want Twitter Blue, Kyle? Where's the... Hold on. Wrong one. I think the vomit actually works, too. Um, yeah, hey, do you want to Do you want to pay to undo your tweets and, and read ad-free news it's, it's in the not U.S.? Undo. It's not undo. Delete I know is undo. I know, Kyle. I it's know. Undo. Kyle, I know. It's a buffer. It's I, like the oh it's like God. the undo send from Google, which is just not it sending just it. Send it's it. just waiting. I know. I know. Oh, you're telling the listeners. Um, yeah. If, it, if I could command <laughs> Z, everyone seeing my tweet, now I'd pay for it. That's not Absolutely. How, that's not how this works. Um, just goes into your brain and takes the tweet out. The best part is that I saw somebody... Um, tweet out about this story they said um you can do this for free you can proofread for free just don't send the tweet yet but what what else what else are they saying we get (laughs) um so it it launched in june in canada and australia but starting tuesday twitter blue will be available to us and new zealand on android and the web perhaps the most (laughs) useful twitter blue Feature is undo, yeah, 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 but as part of Tuesday's expansion, it's about to get a lot more useful for people who love reading and finding news on Twitter. One feature lets people view ad-free articles on participating websites and gives a portion of revenue from Twitter Blue subscriptions to those sites. So you're, you're like buying little tiny pieces of subscriptions to these new sites. 
I guess is what they're saying. Um, the same way that Apple, Apple News, News would do it. Plus, yeah, so works, this says, I suppose. This says more than 300 U.S.-based sites are participating in the program, <clears throat> uh, including Washington Post, The Atlantic, BuzzFeed, Hollywood Reporter, and for full disclo- disclosure, The Verge, which is where this uh, article has come from. Good for them. I can read this for free. Uh, <laughs> This whole thing about the undo send. Yeah, that's, you know, like you said, Kyle, it's not you're not undoing anything. You're just you're just stopping the timer from (laughs) from actually sending it out. If you catch it in time is the thing, because if you if you're like, all right, send it. And then you watch the thing like count down until it actually sends and then it sends it and you go, wait, can I undo it? And it's like it's more of it's more of an inconvenience (laughs) at that point. Yeah, it's like. Why do I have to wait for my tweet? We post Meow! your tweets later. That's that's <laughs> so what that is. Loud. Right. Would you would you pay for it? Uh, huh? She says she says no. Oh. Absolutely never okay. in a million years. <laughs> no meow means no. Oh. <laughs> absolutely not, she says. <laughs> um I was going to say the uh the ad-free news deal part of this is also like meh thumbs down. I I can do that on my own. I don't I don't I don't feel How the need about? to do it here's, in the Twitter here's app. This. Here we go. Ad feed Twitter uh, ad free Twitter ad feed. I said ad feed and that would be just that ads would just only. Be this. <laughs> ad ad free Twitter. Ad. Imagine. Well, using the app without ads at all. Right. I mean, take the money. Take <laughs> it. Take the money. I, just charge more. Oh. I get people <laughs> I pay. I pay. She'd pay for it. That's right. I pay for Tweetbot, and Tweetbot does that, right? Tweetbot does ad free. doesn't Doesn't include sponsored posts and whatnot. Oh my goodness! Kitty cat just wants some attention. You just, you just want to be on the podcast now, don't you? Don't. Okay. Oh, that's a good. That's a good meow. I know. Oh, we should we should stockpile these for. Uh, just the just the meows. Uh, pond5.com. Meow. Right? You good? You good? What'd you find out? Were you working through the audio engineering and you've you you <gasps> found did you, you found something? Did you find a loose cable? Did you plug it back in? Is the polarization correct? This cat is it is it balanced? This cat chooses the wrong times to meow and the right times to say silent. Ah, there oh, we there go. we go. <laughs> That was like the main thing when everyone he started. Oh, what do you think about Twitter goodness. Blue? First time caller, long time listener. What do you think about Twitter Blue? <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> Would you buy it? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Definitely not worth the money. How much was it? That's a lot. That's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, okay. 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 Well, any, anything else before we let you go? Okay. <laughs> that sounded like the well, price th- of Twitter Blue, actually. Thanks. Thanks again. Thanks again for calling and um, have a good night. Morning. It, morning. Good morning. Sorry. Have a good. Have a good morning. You too. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, we had to let you go. We had to let you go. We couldn't let you before we got rudely interrupted by Kyle's cat. Uh, no, it's OK. Um, the I said that I pay for Twitter. No, oh my God, not Twitter blue. I, I pay for Tweetbot and Tweetbot does the ad free feeds and and I can look at everything in in chronological order, which is what I like to do. And Kyle thinks I'm crazy. My wife thinks I'm crazy for doing that. I did not say that. Okay. Those were not the listeners. Those were not my words. Definitely my wife saying that I'm crazy for wanting to read my Twitter feed in chronological order so that I don't miss anything. She's like, what does it matter if you don't, if you miss something I'm like I only follow the people that I want to read. And so then I want to read everything that they post. Why? What, what do you mean? People follow thousands of other people on Twitter and they're like, uh, just whatever the top stuff is. I don't really care. No, I follow a select number of people 
so that I can get the information that I want. I've curated it how I want it. And Twitter blue is not going to solve any problem. So I'm not going to get it. Okay. Toilet. Into the. <laughs> um, uh, Do we just wait for another color? Is that it? Do we just like blue is sort of the first. Twitter, yeah. like, <laughs> it's the first tier. We need, we need t- the Twitter green. Twitter green. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's that. That they would be more eco friendly for every for every tweet. They offset the carbon footprint that that tweet left, and they plant a tree every time <gasps> you tweet. They plant a tree. Okay, I would sign up for that. Mm-hmm. That would actually be a really good service. Twitter. Hey, Twitter, you listening? Jack? Yellow. Jack. Kyle, play every the time. Play this. Every time you what Why you. Take it? The next, the next we shouldn't say any more colors it's i've decided okay the next segment am i supposed to do i don't I'm have to it. do that one I don't have oh it. my gosh all right here we where's the, the <laughs> all right <laughs> that's not the right one but uh I got to go back to the other part of the notes and find it. Hey, it's time for a day. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> I mean, God. I can't mean, find this out. I cut him off. I told him we needed to move on to the next segment. And, and it's really the most boring day. It's National Vanilla Cupcake Day. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> no, wait, no, no, no. Bleh. It's not gross. It's just don't you like about vanilla Blech. cake? It's the most boring of of treats. Right? I hate I hate cupcakes. What do you what do you mean you hate cupcakes? How do you hate cupcakes? How? A muff a muffin is it's not a, a superior muffin. cupcake. It's the same no, it's, shape. That's, it's a <laughs> it's a savory cupcake. <laughs> Save- <laughs> Who said that a muffin is a savory? You just said that yourself. I said that I, I said the muffin is a savory cupcake. <laughs> what are you steak talking flavor, about? Steak, steak flavor steak cupcake. Steak muffin needed and it explodes yeah. in your mouth. <laughs> okay, like, like carne asada muffin. I mean? No. Why not? Taco muffin. <laughs> With a crunchy shell. The shell is the bottom. That's right. <laughs> oh. Vanilla cupcake. Just cupcakes are boring. That's what they're I said. So they're boring. boring. They're so they're not gross. They're gross. No. They're ho- I don't like them at all. Oh my gosh. Why? You, you can't say you One can't say reasons. because the muffin is superior. Goody for you, Kyle. But Lots also, of you like Lots blueberry muffins, and blueberries True. are not savory. Poppy seeds. Also not savory. Continue. Mm. Continue. I, I don't I don't like van, I don't like vanilla cupcakes. I don't like cupcakes in general for two very specific reasons. One, the frosting is bad and gross. <sighs> Frosting's gross. Frosting's bad. It's too thick. There's way too much. Were you like traumatized it. as a child? I <laughs> hate you, frosting. Did you have a terrible birthday experience with cupcakes? I, I want to peel it off. <laughs> Just peel off the frosting. Oh, off the top. what? Gross. Second, second reason why cupcakes are bad. Mm. The paper left over from the cupcake is the same as the muffin. Like a booger. It's so <laughs> gross. It's just a wet, <laughs> floppy, squishy paper. Why that is no it one wet? Wants. Why is it wet, Kyle? Because the the cupcake is wet. The cupcake? No, no, Kyle. Cupcakes are so inside. What did you eat? <laughs> Why are they Cupcakes wet? Cupcakes are wet. Cupcakes are wet. No, they're not. Inside, they're moist. <laughs> and the when you combine all that You're moisture on, on, onto itself. They're wet. They're wet cupcakes. No. 
No, if you are eating a moist cupcake, that doesn't mean it's wet. The top's wet. The inside's wet. <laughs> the frosting's wet sometimes. No. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're hurting. You're hurting all of all of my core is getting such a workout listening to you. I could eat. I could eat a cupcake and work it off immediately. That's that's how much you're making me laugh. I would. I would throw up but, because of that well yeah, we're gonna have to eat one it's national cupcake vanilla cupcake day. <sighs> no of the flavors have you, why vanilla no because it's a day it, have you had like uh and I, I, I clearly i know that you've had like the store-bought cupcakes that are boring and wet for some reason <laughs> very wet <laughs> have you been to like a cupcake shop to get like the curated like you get the exact flavor that you want. I've been to a, I've been to a cupcake ATM. I've I've had cupcake <laughs> cupcake DM. <sighs> Would it be an ACM? Automated cupcake machine. Machine. No. Does a teller still baker? It'd be a B. It'd be. It'd have to be like a, a cupcake ABM. A, a, a B. I don't like ABM as a. It, it sounds either. like you're making a BM. I'm making a BM. Yeah. I will. It'll be also wet <laughs> from from the cupcake. Get us out of here. People can't agree on the name for the end of a loaf of bread. What? You know, don't first of all, don't click on this. Second, okay. The end of a loaf of bread. Okay, it's the so on a sliced bread? Loaf, on a I guess sliced loaf. bread. Loaf. Correct. On a sliced bread. Okay. What would you call the end of either end of the loaf? You just said it twice. The end. That is the end of the bread. Is the end slice the of bread? No, no, no. The end. End slice, sure. The, the end. ends. But is but it sometimes is the beginning. No, it's always the end. It's the first. It's the first slice you grab. I do. You, do you slice inside? Do you cut your bread bag in half every time you get a new bread bag? So you grab the middle slice yeah, exa- always. Exactly. I don't open it from the the spot where I you know untwist and then oh I'll grab the first slice. No, no, no. I rip a hole right down the middle and I just take the slices out of the middle until I mm. reach the ends. Is it the crust? No, because there's crust on the, the, the slices. Crust, the crust, crust slice. No, crust slice? Too much to say. Is that it? The butt? <sighs> no. If it was the, the butt, butt of the bread. No, if it was the butt, there would be two slices. There would be a mouth. Oh, gross. Gotta get that, gotta get that mouth, mouth slice. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 outsider. I like that your definition of can't have a butt without a mouth. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so hold on. So you're it's saying a digestive if, tract a butt is in is indicative of a digestive tract. No, no, no. That's that's the that's the part that's in the butt. What's that one called again? Do you do you remember? You do. There it is. That's right. Um, no, I was gonna the, say. I was gonna say that you can't be the butt of a joke if you also have to be a mouth of the joke. What if you are though? Oh gosh, bumper, bumper, no mm-hmm. bread, the bumper? bread bumper, bread bumper. Oh. Oh, boom. No, don't like that one. Uh, outsider. Did I say that one? No. What? Outsider. Outs- you are the outsider of the bread. You are not belong in here. The nut end. Don't like that. The noggy. Don't like that one either. What? N- the Norbert. The Norbert. No, but k- kudos for coming up with the original name, I suppose. Also, sorry to every Norbert out there. You are now bread. You're bread. You're you're the end of you're bread. the end of bread. It's a really interesting website. If I just keep scrolling, it takes me to a new article. 
And so I could just scroll forever. I don't. And it just keeps, it just keeps taking me to new articles. I don't, I don't want that. It's not, it's nonstop. I don't want that. Is this what websites are? Is this, is this oh, what websites no, no, are? I'm trying to get you to stop that one. IHOP's holiday menu includes pancakes topped with blue. And I'm waiting for it to load. Hold on. <laughs> Vanilla swirl and marshmallows. Oh, no. It's a cupcake. <laughs> It's a cupcake and a sweet potato casserole. Uh, Dude. Boy. Mm-hmm. What do you think? <sighs> Why is what? What is blue vanilla swirl have anything to do with the holidays? What? What? What is it? Because it looks cold. No. It looks like ice. No. If I got a cold pancake. I'm going to throw up. Why don't they just do it the other way? Why not make something cold taste like a pancake? That would blow my mind. Like what? Pancake snow cone. I, I don't. Pancake flavored snow cone. Pancake. It's just, it's raw batter dripped on top of ice. <laughs> it's just brown. Just brown, that raw pancake <laughs> batter just iced up. In a big tall glass. So I was looking for a photo of this. I, I see it now. It's it's in the little bookmark uh, photo preview here. It's blue vanilla swirl and marshmallows. Oh yeah, is marshmallows the, is the like I guess like snow. Yeah, that snow? must that must be what they're snow going snow. for here. Like snow on a lake, ice lake. I don't know. But vanilla vanilla on pan on pancakes. Eh, vanilla in mm. pancakes. That's where it's at. Yeah. What about uh, pumpkin spice pancakes made with real pumpkin, seasonal spices, and whipped topping? Sure. Yeah, pumpkin spice or not, it is, it is pumpkin spice. It is. It is indeed. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Let's see. They've got a. They've got like sandwiches, turkey, Cali roasted turkey melt. They uh, with Cali bacon. roasted turkey melt. Um, Why does everything have to be California related? But it's only called sure. Cali. Who in California not- says Cali, by the way? Anybody? Anybody? Get out of California I, if you say it. Li- I, was, I was listening to hear the screams. Was it? Was pain it oh, was it your cat? Coming from where? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Cali! <laughs> <laughs> um, we would definitely not have the blue vanilla swirl with marshmallow pancake collection. Battle. For our battle. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. I, right. I would throw up blue for sure. Yeah. Oh. I included this story simply to talk about cookies from a company that tastes like pizza. What? What in the world? Who is this? How is this? And how do we get it? They're called Pizza Bear. Pizza Bear. Delicious cookies. They come in a pizza box. And they taste. It's cookies that taste like pizza. How? But how? How? I don't know. I Zingy flavor. The zingy flavor of pizza. Wait. Okay. They say. The usual, sweet, the usual sweetness has been replaced by the iconic pairing of cheese and tomato. On a cookie? On a cookie, no, perhaps a no, couple of mushrooms no, no. or controversial slices of pineapple. I'm sorry. No, no. The cookies were a very tasty pizza flavor. No, 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 no. Cookies, 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 ha- cookies. cookies, no cookies, pizza. It's not cookies aren't pepperoni, dough. pepperoni cookies, pepperoni. Co- that is the worst. Pepperoni that is the worst doodle that. No, you are you are combining the worst things here. The this box. Is the ne- this is the way. This is the future. This is we, this is for children. We've stumbled. We've stumbled onto the future. No, and this I don't is like going this to be future. It. This is it. I I'm going to take a stand. I'm going to take a stand and say, absolutely not. Even if they taste good, I will still rally against them. This feels blasphemous to both pizza and cookies. And the box design looks like something a three year old did. Sorry, I, not sorry. Well, it's it. I mean, I think that's the point. It's just. 
do you think are the cookies shaped like pizza slices? That would you, you can't cook them. Are they triangle cookies? You can't. Is it a cookie cut into a triangle? How is, did, a, uh, is a cookie a pizza already? How did you put cheese smaller? on a cookie? I'm, it, that's the thing that's boggling the mind. Cheese on a cookie? No. How do we get this? No, we don't want this. Do we make this? Do we make this ourselves? We do, I don't think so. No, 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 no. This, this is, this is uh, a parody. This cannot be true life. I don't like it. Speaking of pizza things you don't like, notoriously trustworthy Papa John Shatner says he's had 800 pizzas in the last 18 months. Join the club. No, it's John Schnatter. Sh- Shatner. No, Schnatter. Shatner. <laughs> Papa John. Willi- William J. <laughs> Shatner. Do you think he had Papa John's pizzas? Do you think he had his own pizzas? Or did he get like, oh, I can't, I, I, I'm not part of them anymore. I'm going to eat Pizza Hut. <laughs> Can we send him into space? Like, <laughs> wrong, wrong Shatner, you know? Like, go, <laughs> he, go get this, this, go get, go pick up this Shatner this, uh, and this put him in space. screen grab that they've got here for the, oh yeah, for this the is part. of, this is very much of the, the, that news that, uh, uh, interview he did way back when from from his house where he said he had a lot of pizzas this is a lot more of those pizzas right we, we covered that didn't we i think we may have uh i mean it was I really cover like we're we're an actual <laughs> news outlet and we had something to say meaningful about it yeah it was it says in a notoriously sweaty 2019 interview he boasted of consuming That's 40 right. pizzas in 30 days although that turned out to be an exaggeration i think that that's not that's not far fetched. I'm no. imagining that there are college students who can cover those numbers easily. And this guy owns a pizza chain. Of course he would eat that much pizza. He's probably made of pizza at this point. Right? Or cookies. So it 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 does say almost all of the greasy pies came from Papa John's from which he was fired Why? in 2018. Why? Why would you why would you buy your own product? Why do you what, but it's not yours anymore. You left. Shouldn't you like go go show Shaq that you don't need you don't need Papa's pizzas anymore. <laughs> you should go make make your own. In fact, the Are his pizzas still Papa jo- <laughs> In fact, Kyle, the 800 pies that he ate were yeah. all of the leftovers from the Papa John era. Right. That he was like uh, seeking out. He's like, I must consume my pizzas. own pizza. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Vintage. he's like a troll who's who's like he's going to. He only yeah. subsists on his own product from three years I'm ago. Stick. I'm gonna stick with his name being Shatner from now on. Oh. We're just gonna we're gonna keep doing that. Okay. Ow. Speaking of pizza, pineapple. Yes. On pizza. Yes. It's growing on us. A new poll suggests goody. It it already grew uh, on me and I love it. A new online poll suggests seventy three percent seventy three percent of Canadians say they would definitely quote definitely or probably eat pizza with pineapple. It's up seven points from a similar poll conducted in July of twenty nineteen. Okay, it's increasing. Is the point in Canada? In Canada, Qu- Quebec, Quebec. Um, increasing. Yeah, I don't. I don't see any problem with that. Again, I'm. I'm of the. Uh, I'm. I'm in the American tier where pineapple on pizza is frowned upon, right? In America, and I just accept the hate. If I if someone's like, oh, what kind of pizza do you want? I'm like pepperoni and can pineapple. We agree? Can we agree though that it, there are places, especially where it is done very poorly because they keep that pineapple wet. They gotta, they gotta squish it out. It's gotta be. I don't want, I don't want that cupcake wetness on my pizza. No, 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 no. You gotta drain that pineapple. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. There are some places that just don't get it. I just don't want the juice, you know, but then again, those are the same places that have the same pineapple sitting out for a while. And then that dries out and then you get, 
like aged pineapple. Just a yes. Mm. Frank, yes. Mwah. Dry aged, dry aged pineapple. Just mm. Mm. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like uh, uh, sun dried tomatoes, but it's pineapple. I mean, I mean, right. Mm-hmm. What's the next? What's the next fruit on pizza? What are we going to do? <sighs> pineapple? Next fruit right, or fine. like the next Fun? weird thing? No, 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 no. Fruit. Definitely fruit. fruit. Blue. Blueberries? No. I mean, blueberry pizza. I've had fig pizza. Same, same. That doesn't count. Oh. Next fruit. Okay, so like, different. Doesn't exist, doesn't exist right now. New fruit on pizza. Mainstream. Apple? Controversial. Mm, like like really I, I, thin mm, apple slices? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I've already, I feel like I've already kind of had something Ooh, like that. What if you did like apple chips on a pizza? No, too dry. But you baked them. Too, too, even drier. Okay. Um, a fruit. It's not gonna be nanners, Kyle. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> I knew that's what you were fishing for. Put, put those just <laughs> slimy, slimy discs onto my pizza, please. Let's talk about wet. <laughs> what about um? What about like a mango? Ugh. What? Yeah. No. It's like a like a chopped like a chopped mango. I honestly in my head cherries. Pit cherries with the pit. Oh. Just <laughs> right right on there. <laughs> no 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 maraschino cherries. Mm. Mm-hmm. There you go. Just the drizzle. <laughs> right, just the sauce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Instead of tomato sauce. Are we making cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Are these cookies? I honestly you know what? I thought Is this a cookie? Before you told me it had to be a fruit, I was gonna say Carrots. I think people would like carrots on pizza. And I wouldn't. But I feel like that would be a weird trend that people would do. If anything, it would be like carrot, carrot um, like shaved carrot. I hate this. Right? Carrots? I don't know. I'm just, I'm spitballing this here. Is, this is our TikTok. We made a TikTok. <laughs> I think we made a t- <laughs> carrot it looks pizza. from... From 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 afar, it, they look like pep cups, and then you get closer, and they're carrots. No, not like discs. Oh, that would be awful. Definitely, definitely discs. Oh, jeez. KFC's spicy new burger is loaded with corn chips. Uh, on top, they're chips. It's just chips it's just with chips. a sauce. No, with a sauce sorry. on top it's... and on bottom. Um, saucy, no. saucy chips. No, it's all of it's gonna fall out. It's all jalapeno out. mayo. Yuck! Keep going. What do you think? Where is it? You don't oh, like that? My... Okay, that took a while. I couldn't all find right. it. Anyway, uh, the chips are all gonna fall out. And take all that gross mayonnaise with it, and then you're just gonna have like a cold soggy. Yeah, so- yeah, it's gonna be soggy chips. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants soggy chips on their chicken burger. Who wants? Isn't that what the breading on the chicken is supposed to be for? Like the crispiness. So, you, so you want like the batter to be this corn chips? Ju- you know what? You know what this is? This, this is like a burger with glass in it. <laughs> It's going to cut the inside of your mouth this right when you bite down. This would actually, just you know what? The, just like, like Joker fi you, you know, oh, like, right on, you know how I got these right scars on, right I on the KFC KFC burger. I, I ate the KFC zinger back there. <laughs> what, what, what Joker are we doing at this point? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I was going to say this, this could actually be a good opportunity for KFC to enter the alternative food item. Here with instead of doing a burger, you turn this into a taco and KFC now has a taco and it's crunchy shell with fried chicken down the down the meat part. You got the coleslaw on top. You've got the uh, spicy mayo on that and then in, in, in your shell and there you go. You can add all so, of the elements except for the bun, I suppose. So, so you're. You're basically saying. Could I have the Taco Bell instead, please? I think KFC should should ask themselves that question. Yes, they're already aren't they already in the restaurant? 
I, it's like they looked over <laughs> they looked over at Taco Bell's tests and they copied a couple of answers. They just got they, they got see. the placements wrong. Yeah, they got the yeah. They just they put they had it one question off. Oh man, the Scantron. Scantron's totally bored now. <laughs> Do we cheat the same way? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like to. Uh, <laughs> I like to. I liked to make a mark on my Scantron so thick that it jammed the machine and then everybody got an A. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. No, it's not. Uh, it's, it's from, I don't know. I don't remember what show it's from, but uh, I always thought that was funny. Ow. The McPlant is just Mick. Okay. This to me. So I, I read the story last week and I kept trying to convince my wife who I like to tell the food stories to when, when we're off the air. Uh, I like, I said, this is, this is an absolute win for McDonald's and for consumers. If, if how the McPlant is being judged is, yeah, it's just another burger. That's a win. That's like, then you can just replace all those nasty beef burgers with this one if it tastes just as fine as a regular burger and we can start you know phasing out the 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 beef practices what needs to happen is we need to discover that for the last five years we've all been eating lab-grown meat at a major fast food chain that would be it's still meat that'd be a twist still it's just same cellular structure, mm-hmm. but just not from a living, breathing animal. Right. And I, I watched the new, um, uh, there's a new David Chang, um, documentary series on Hulu. I don't know if it's mm-hmm. a documentary, mm-hmm. I guess is, is putting it weirdly. Uh, it's all about like the future of food and the next thing we eat, I think is what it's called. And his first episode is about burgers. I mean, he talks about, you know, what, what actually makes a burger a burger. And it's not necessarily the meat all the time. It's the meat plus the cheese plus the other ingredients, you know, the, the veggies and the sauces. It's everything that you kind of put in, in connection with the meat that balances the flavor. And that's what makes it a good burger is when you have a good balance of all of the ingredients into the burger. Um. So, so if you make the burger small enough, <laughs> then it's just a single cell burger. <laughs> it's a, it's the cell of a bun. It's the, it's the cell of a lettuce. Yeah. You just grow the burger complete like that. And then you duplicate it and then you eat, you eat the beef that tastes like the burger. So it's, ha- it's made half of burger. I mean, because is that what he was saying? Is that exactly that? I, I haven't even watched it. No, I mean, am I, none how of that. Close none of that is. No, you are not remotely close. I at feel all. like I'm I feel like I'm pretty close. I just to told you you're wrong. The scientists have said, you know, <laughs> he did explore lab grown meat. He explored impossible burger beyond burger. He explored um, like. Uh, beef that's grown. Uh, I don't know. What's the next nice, nicely? It's it, like. The right way factor. It's in a. It's not. A it's everything's petri grass dish. fed, and you know that's like as good as you can get with with beef and from cows. But it's it's the future is lab grown uh, alternatives that just kind of give off the flavor of beef, and we don't have to have a bunch of cattle farms, uh, you know, shooting methane into the atmosphere and. Um, and having such a horrible treatment of animals, we can cut that down if we just stop eating those gross burgers and we just go to this. So I'm OK with this. I'm OK with this. Mm-hmm. What about when? you, Kyle? I'm fine. It's good. It sounds good. It just seems like it just seems like <laughs> what you, a stance. You, you just <laughs> It's fine. You, I just feel like you can't get it everywhere. You know? Well, like what, is not the, what, does this say? what does this say? It'll be available. Um, it, de- soon. it debuted in the UK in late September. Late September. Uh, Burger King has theirs. Yeah. It's coming soon. It's fine. It's coming soon. Eventually, 
we will get it. So we're just waiting. We're waiting for it to show up here in the States. Yeah, and then and then it was once- in Spain. It was in now it was in the UK in September. It'll be here eventually. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna keep saying okay. that. Yeah, it's fine. Um <clears throat> we will not be here for a little while. I'm gonna make my butt take a vacation. I'm gonna make my arm also take a vacation. Just those two parts. Everywhere else, it's on the clock. The whole time. Got it. Got to do it. Okay. What about what about the what about the mouth? You know, I have one too. Are you gonna Are you gonna eat good food on your vacation? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm, <clears throat> I will be completely unavailable. So don't try. Don't try calling me. I, I you keep you keep trying. Um, I just won't answer. Um. Before I had a daughter, I don't think I called my brother for like six years, except for this show. I don't. I don't think so. What? What other? What else do we need to talk about? Hey, it's me. Come, come pick me up from school. (laughs) Is that is that my voice? I need. I need. Yeah, yeah, it's me. It's two thousand one. And I'm way, way back, way back here, way back here in the past. Come pick me up, please. (laughs) How are you calling me? It's 2021. You really should buy some Apple stock. Ooh. It's pretty, wait, I'm doing this the wrong way. You're supposed to. You're <laughs> supposed to be the old one. Tell. Shoot. Tell me it. what to buy. Ah, phone call over. <laughs> <laughs>